Hey, my lovely TTs, welcome back to the channel. We know that Drake always has the best performances, but recently some fans got into a tussle over his towel. Yes, recently Drake had a performance on Saturday in Los Angeles while he was walking through the crowd of his fans. With some excitement, he decides to throw a towel that he was wiping his sweat off with. Now, when he throws this towel, a young lady catches the towel. Of course, she's very excited. And a guy tries to take this towel away from her. So they get to tussling. And when Drake sees that this man is trying to tussle with this female over his towel Drake quickly decides to try to get in between them and stand up for this young lady he tells the guy give it to her are you crazy are you dumb and then it seems like he's saying something I'm saying that it seems like I don't know if this was Drake's exact words it seemed like he was saying that he was going to send somebody for that young guy so shout out to Drake There's a lot of things that's wrong with this situation why is there a guy trying to fight over Drake towel especially with a young woman like I said shout out to Drake for standing up for his fan if you guys have not seen that video you can definitely check it out on my Instagram at room for tea with two A's at the end now speaking of performances let's go ahead and get into Megan the Stallion Megan the Stallion finally decides to speak out after Tory Lane's sentencing now last week as we know we were given the information that Tory Lane's will be serving 10 years in prison over the him and Megan the Stallion situation no need to go back into detail about that situation Situation. We know that Tory Lanez did speak out behind bars. If you guys don't know exactly what I'm talking about or what Tory Lanez said, definitely check out my last video. Well, recently, Megan Thee Stallion had a performance at the Outside Lands Festival where she decided to address all of her haters and all of the critics and naysayers. This is what Megan Thee Stallion had to say. She said, I just want to say F all of you haters. She said none of that ish that she was doing or saying broke me. So that's Megan Thee Stallion's statement to all of the critics, all of the naysayers, everyone having something to say about Megan Thee Stallion everyone who doesn't like Megan Thee Stallion after Tory Lane's sentencing was announced she just let it be known that she does not care and nothing that anyone is saying is getting to her I want to go ahead and move on to Amy Luciani and Cardi B because it looks like these two got into it recently now recently Amy Luciani she had an interview with the Baller Alert show where she mentioned that she has been in a room with other writers and Cardi B's name has came up. Now once this interview was put out of course it was posted to some blog pages and Cardi B decided to quickly confront Amy Luciani. She felt like Amy Luciani was trying to take credit for writing for her or basically saying that she has written for her before but Amy Luciani had to let Cardi B known that she was taking her words out of context and that's not what she said. She was not saying that she has written for Cardi B before. She said that she has been in rooms with other writers where Cardi B's name has come up. Up. I can definitely see how these two things can get misconstrued. Let's go ahead and get into some of these DMs between these two. Cardi B decided to DM Amy Luciani and she said, when have you ever in your life written for me? Amy Luciani answered back and she said, Cardi, no, please don't take this out of context. I said three years ago, I was in a writer's session with multiple songwriters and your name and other dope artists were in a line of upcoming albums. Cardi B answered back and she said, how you jacking that you did a song for me and your verse didn't make it? but you getting credited on the album. Cardi B said, never that you didn't say that you claim you wrote for me. I don't work with no writers unless they bring in me singing hooks. like you doing ish like this. In that interview, you said your verse didn't get picked, but you were still a writer on my album. Like, girl, why are you lying? Wow, Cardi, I should take how you speaking to me as disrespectful, but let's do this. I'm happy for your success. God is good. Again, you're taking an interview that I was truthful about out of context, always wishing you continued growth and success. Now, of course, there's a lot of messages between these two going back and forth but I think the most important thing is that these two did somewhat work it out Cardi B did apologize to Amy Luciani for coming at her so aggressively she said I'm sorry if I sound aggressive but my album is everything my bread and butter and I take a lot of pride and so many people have discredited me for my work and that's when Amy Luciani you know answer back to Cardi B let Cardi B know that she should take a lot of pride in her work basically complimenting Cardi B telling her that she has worked hard she deserves her success and she wasn't trying to disrespect her I have to say big ups to Amy Luciani for not really like arguing with Cardi B or coming at Cardi B disrespectful even though Cardi B did come at her disrespectful I'm definitely not criticizing or bashing Cardi B for coming at her disrespectfully because like I said Cardi B did eventually end up apologizing to Amy Luciani but I definitely want to give credit where credit is due for people like Amy Luciani who has that self-control 
comfortable to where she didn't feel the need to argue back with or get disrespectful with Cardi B for clout or anything like that. You can tell she definitely didn't want any problems with Cardi B. And I feel like definitely there would have been other people who would have just tried to argue with Cardi B just to say that they had an argument with Cardi B just to get something started. But you can tell that Amy Luciani quickly diffused the situation. So shout out to her. Definitely a lot of respect to her for that. Let's go ahead and move on to Nicki Minaj because today Nicki Minaj decided to preview a record from her Pink Friday 2. Now I believe that Nicki Minaj said that she's going to drop this Pink Friday 2 in November. You guys can correct me if I'm wrong. I believe she said November or December but she did decide to give us a little snippet, a little preview. Now you guys can hear that preview on my Instagram at room for tea with two A's at the end but is this the song that she is talking about that will make trees grow as in my previous video i'll let you guys know that Nicki minaj said that she has a hit coming out and this song is going to be epic it's going to make trees grow i'm wondering is this a song that she's talking about let's go ahead and move into our last topic which is going to be our girl coila ray looks like coila ray has an ep coming out soon she dropped it on her twitter she said blue moon ep six songs loading so she will have six songs on this new EP, it looks like she's trying out a new look as well as she posted a video previewing one of her songs. And she had blue hair and blue all over her body as well. It almost looked like she's like dressing up as an extraterrestrial or something. But you guys let me know what you think about this in the comment section. Once again, my lovely TTs, thank you so much for watching Room for Tea. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Turn on your post notifications so you're notified every time I upload. Follow me on Instagram at Room for Tea with two A's at the end. And like I always say, I'll see you guys in my next video. Have a blessed rest of your night.